All right, now we're mounting the other side here, the other antenna. So, we want to match exactly so we have it seven and center in this corner. Seven. Inch and a half. I'm going to drill a quarter size hole. And the same thing that we do with the other side here. We're going to uh, fish our cable inside. That way we can finish up the console inside. We're not going to permanently install this. We're just going to get our cable inside. We're going to put the grommet on. Um, and the grommet will just hang. We're going to have a little bit of wire slack. Just enough so we can push the wire inside when we're done. We still need to sand this outside surface and then we'll paint it. So we're not gonna permanently install this, but we do wanna get this console inside, like I said. Get the antennas hooked up to the radio. And uh, these are the eight foot Shakespeare antennas. They got a 15 foot cable on there. So all we're gonna do is get our holes done. We will shove the cable through, and then we will show you how to terminate these ends. Because if you see, they don't have a connector on them. So we will show you how to terminate the coax cable ends in case you ever have to install one yourself. They're not too difficult to figure out, but you do have to do some soldering. And we'll show you exactly where to solder these on. Unless you buy a prefabricated connector. But the only difference with that is then you got to drill a bigger hole to fish your wires into. And we don't want that. We want the smallest holes as possible. So now we're going to show you how to make up this end. So your first thing is going to go on is a stress relief connector. So we're going to put this on first. Figure out the best way to put all this. And this is pretty much a strain relief connector here. That's pretty snug. That's your strain relief. Next piece. It's the housing for your connector. this piece here which is a reduce your coupling so what you're going to do here is going to push this up and you can see the woven shielding here needs to get pulled back like 
like such. And then this is going to come up flush and you're going to push this shielding, this woven shielding around your reducer coupling. And it should look something like that. Then you have these two little washers here. Your metal washer will go on first. Let's twist this center conductor here. Your metal washer will go on first. And then your plastic grommet. Okay, now you're looking like that. Next is your actual conductor end, your connector. This is the part that goes into the back of your VHF radio. This will go on. And we want to make sure that this center conductor slides through the opening of your conductor end. When you push this all in, this screws to your conductor. And now you have your center conductor coming out the end. And there are small holes here. Let's see if we can zoom in here. So you can see the holes. There's holes, four of them. And what you're going to do is you're going to solder the shielding conducting, or the shield, the woven shield, through those holes so that it's attached to the connector. And then your final step is you're going to solder this center conductor in that hole right there. So that's what we're going to get done doing now. We're going to solder that end there and our shield and screw this in. And then our connector end will be done. All right, so we are ready to solder. side tired to do here doesn't want to stay Sometimes it can be a pain trying to get the cable to stay right where you want it to stay so you can solder this, but try to do this with two hands when you need three. There's our ends. 
And then our last is our center conductor here. Bingo. Not that cool. So now our connector is soldered on the shield, and it's also soldered at the end here. And what you could do is just go ahead and Snip your end off, and there you have it. You have your connector. It's all in there. It's all nice and soldered in. Now what you do, and there's your end. Ready to plug into a radio. You just slide your stress relief end here. All the way up and over and now you have a completely finished ready to install end on your VHF radio wire.